But thanks for coming early. Must be cheap beer here, isn't it? <laughs> is it? No. I can't drink tonight, I've got to drive. And uh, it's not a good idea to let me drink and drive after what happened last time I did. <laughs> I've never done it, honest. Anyway, um, yeah, it's nice. It's been nice to have the opportunity uh, to play a few shows with uh, Mick and Michael while they're over here, so, so thanks to them. I know I don't even hear yet, I think they're still in the pool. Um, but uh, so thanks, um, because I haven't been, I stopped playing music for a lot of years. Um, this being a band called the Whiskey Priests. Um, hey! <laughs> we had a fan um, that stopped playing back in 2002. Uh, and uh, I didn't play music for many years after that, for various reasons. And I recently started playing again uh, and recorded a new city day last year, um, which came about from a, a, a songwriting project I did, a songwriting and poetry project I did at your art gallery on the theme of war, called Reflections on War. And I worked with a lovely group of people and put together an exhibition and some, some books of poetry that we wrote and um, I was commissioned to write some songs for the exhibition. Um, basically, um, inspired by uh, various artwork and memorabilia from the art gallery's collection, and also stories that are collected from the people I work with, either their own personal stories of um, experiences through wartime, or um, experiences of um, their relations, grandparents, aunts, uncles, etc. And uh, this came out, uh, this is just getting released now as my new CD called Reflections on War, and I'm going to pick up the songs off that now. First one's called Born as Brass. It's about a guy who was um, a military brass bandsman um, at the beginning of the last century, um, just before the outbreak of the First World War, as a bandsman. He played cornered in a military band. And uh, when the war broke out, he put his corner back in his case and uh, joined the artillery, he was an artillery officer. And at the Battle of April in 1917, he suffered two attacks of mustard gas. And although he lived to the right old age of 94, he never ever again played his corner. He was unable to because of the damage that had been done to his bones. So this was written as a tribute to him, it's called Ballers Brass.
Bottles and bayonets, we place cards and drums While down on the platform, there was not a dry eye As they wished you luck, as they waved you goodbye An artillery officer, astride a fine mount Twice cast, it's the carnage still on out for the count but no longer to fall. So hold on your brass with your lungs constricted by the harsh mustard gas. So blow on your cornet, going loud and proud. When the man would strike up, what a heavenly sound. And those sweet music fades, it's never. 